the countdown to totality continues and soon thousands will arrive on the Thompson Park Hill on Monday, April 8th. I was with Councilwoman Sarah Campo-Pierce last April at the park, and this week I sat down with Mayor Campo-Pierce to talk about the last-minute plans before the big day. First up, what stands out most about Monday, April 8th? In the beginning, I think we thought, okay, it will be around 10,000 people, and now we're seeing certain estimates that have upwards of 150,000 people. Now, I had to ask, why Thompson Park? The park offers the best and clearest view for people. It's obviously um, a huge open space. Space. There's also the historic significance of the park. It's the gem of our city, and what better place to gather for a once-in-a-lifetime event. The mayor says foot traffic and shuttle buses to the park will be the best way to get there. We are starting our shuttle service at 10 a.m. on the day of the eclipse. The thousands that will arrive here won't be in the clouds about the event as it's happening. We're going to have um, experts there kind of narrating the event and letting people know, okay, this is what's going to be happening, and letting people know what they should be looking out for. What economic impact? impact will Eclipse Weekend have on the city? A boost to local businesses, eating in our restaurants, filling up at our gas stations. We know already that the hotels have been sold out for a long time, not just in the city of Watertown. So the economic impact that we'll see certainly will be significant, not just on the day of the eclipse, but in the days leading up to it as well. Since the hotels have no vacancies, how about letting friends and family into your home? That really probably is the only option available at this point, is welcoming them into your home. So that's something that I would advise people to encourage those friends and family members who would be interested in being part of this to do. Watertown Airport is expecting hundreds of inbound flights from all over the world. South Africa, throughout the U.S., New York City area. At 322 on April 8, 2024, Watertown will be in complete darkness. Now that's totality. For Downtown News, I'm Glenn Curry. Thanks for watching.